Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today, a Frankenstein of a ship. How many different calibers can I put on one single battleship? And can 20 destroyers from the Italian Navy defeat it? Let's find out. This challenge is going to be interesting, because fitting this many different guns on one ship is not only going to be a balancing nightmare, but it's also going to be a bit of a logistical nightmare for whoever poor quartermaster is going to have to try and get all the ammunition delivered to this ship. Let's see what I can craft with this awful ship. Um, this awful ship probably wouldn't be a ship that would have veteran crew, because if this is going to get thrown together, let's say in a disaster war situation, you're going to have to use... Whatever crew you have lying around, uh, they probably won't be that effective with the ship. Let's go with an Uber Funnel station. Uh, and of course we're going to use two different ones. Okay, propulsion? Something light please, 50,000 tons? Yeah, 50,000 I think is fine. Better oil, saves a bit of weight. Better armor. And let's go with some medium anti-torp. Citadel, anti-flood, bulkheads. So, main guns. <laughs> we got all the stuff here. Um, normally, I have this button over here on. Auto mirror. I'm going to turn that off. So that if I place down a gun, it's only going to sit on one side of the ship. Um, let's go with the super... There, I'm not sure if that's big enough. We're probably going to have to go with something a little bigger. There. That's going to have to fit the 20-incher. One single barrel. Why? I don't know. Because it's the lightest option. It gets progressively worse from here. You're getting 900 tons if you want to get another gun on there. Next, side-mounted guns. And here is where the wonky shit begins. Because we're going to go with offset 119 and 118. The real question is, <laughs> will that fit on this ship? And I'm not sure the answer is going to be yes. Because that turret is desperate to try and rotate. <laughs> yeah. That looks legit. <laughs> that will turn. Sure it will. Okay. 18, 19. Moving on to 17 inch. Um, Some are far on the starboard side. 16 inch. Oh, sorry, that's the port side actually. Uh, oh, that turret's getting a little tricky with me. Hold on, if I... Angle them outwards, which you can do, by the way, by uh, just pressing R and T for rotating. That's the 17. Let's try and refit that. <clears throat> because I'm thinking if I do not use a barbette, I might be able to field even more. So we have the 16, we have the 17. Now we're going to go with a single 15. Ooh, the 17 is being a bit obnoxious over there. Oh! Well, it won't turn, but that's not a requirement. Okay, we got the 15, we got the 14. Going once, going twice. Sold to the side of the superstructure. <laughs> 13 inch. Uh, that should be relatively easy to fit now. I'm surprised that the weight offset isn't that bad, actually. Like, I'm not getting massive issues yet. I might, might be able to field one gun of every caliber here. Because this is already the what the... Whoops! Sorry. That's the what, the 10-incher? The 12. Oh, crap. Oh! Yeah, I got... The <laughs> I got the maximum number of guns. 
at least mains, 8 out of 8. You simply cannot have more. Well, you cannot have more side mounts, but you can have more center lines. So I need to try and fit an 11 inch gun like somewhere over there. Uh, hold on, if I shift you back. Oh, don't be that way. Okay, we're gonna change up the stern a little bit. I need to have something on this barbette. Then, I need to have my 17 incher back. Actually, that's not terrible. 17 incher going over there. The 16 incher can go... That fits. Okay. That fits. Um, so, we are down to 20, 18, 19, 17, 16, 11. So that's going to have to be an offset 11 incher. I now have 6 out of 8. I, I still have to fit 3 more guns, not 2. Um, where am I going to leave a 9 inch gun? Because this is the, the side mount. This is going to be tricky. How is this going to fit? I mean, getting rid of an 11 incher is not that hard. You just go, click, gone. Um, if I push this as far back as possible. And then I tell this guy to go here. Can I get one of those weird super tall barbettes? Tall barbet for small guns? Because that's the 11. Side mount, 10 inch. Range finding with this ship is going to be a fucking nightmare. Oh, come on. You know you want to fit. It says for small guns, but it doesn't say what type of small guns. There is a very tall Super Barbette, but uh, I don't think that's going to fit. Well, no, it wouldn't fit in a normal configuration, but this is Frankenstein. Ta-da! Done. One caliber of every, well... One gun of every main caliber. <laughs> We're not done yet. Oh no, there's a whole lot more nonsense coming your way. Um, eight incher. We can probably counterbalance that with a seven. Look at that, we only got a bit starboard weight offset. That's not that bad. Uh, that's over there. Now it has port offset? Really? Okay. Let's put a 6-incher over here. And then we're going to put a 5-incher over there. Point 0.1 weight offset. Considering the disaster that this ship is, I'm very pleasantly surprised with how easy it is to fit these guns on this ship. Nothing on the superstructure, unfortunately. So that's the 4... Then we got the three. And we're going to have the two inch guns, but all the two inch guns. But this whole. What? You can. Oh, you can fit two inch dual barrels. Okay, fine. We will run with that. Some parts are badly placed. No. That kind of goes for the whole ship, really. Push this one out a little bit. What? No side offset? <laughs> I'm not really sure how I managed to do that. But the fact that it somehow fits. Oh, now we have a port way to... What? Okay. That is interesting. Point one. I can live with point one. That's not that bad. Um, yeah, so this ship. I have no idea if she'll be able to hit anything, let alone 20 destroyers. That's going to be a challenge. 
If I use gas turbines, I wonder if I'll be able to do some speeding up and slowing down. And with that, maybe get some dodges. But 0.6 knots acceleration is pretty horrible. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. With diesels, I get 0.4. Oh, she is a big girl. Turbo electrics? One knot. Okay. That's not, not great, not terrible. Um, let's see. Let's try and hit something, I guess. Range finding is going to be a coincidence. And auto loaders. Wow, that fits on all the... <laughs> that fits on all the turrets. Okay. It's crazy, but it works. Standard ratio for all the guns. Uh, acoustics. Let's watch those torps. Wow, she has a lot of armor. Look at that. 18 and a half from the get-go, plus 165. Hold it. <laughs> oh boy, guns and caliber stats for days. Good lord. All right. Um, well, I guess the only thing to do is to like make her a bit faster. Maybe 28 knots is attainable. Yeah. Oh, but then we get a massive aft weight offset. What? That has to do with the speed. Does the engine grow? Somehow? What if I do this? If I shift the funnels forward? Because that should relocate the engine as well. Yeah. And then if I go 28 knots. Yeah, it just shifts the weight to the stern. It's a little weird. Then again, not much about this particular ship is normal. Um, radio. RDF is going to help me with the gun aiming speed a bit. Which might be critical for what I'm trying to do here. Forced boilers, 160% engine efficiency. Flash fire chance. 6.9%. It's not terrible. Four and a half. I've sailed with far worse ships. Now when it comes to destroyers, you don't really need a whole bunch of armor. It's not exactly going to save you. Because they'll either burn you down, or they'll torpedo you into submission. Or both. We'll just have to see how Frankenstein will do. It's alive! With the sound of music. Look at that dispersion! Hold on. No, that might actually not be dispersion. The game considers every single weapon a different weapon system, right? So... Is everything targeting something else? Insofar as it can. What's your torpedo range, gentlemen? Well, me, more or less. Alright, Frankie. You and I. What if I want to slow down? Is that going to do anything? Oh yeah, not bad. Hold back emergency. Yeah, that slows her down right fast. Okay, so that is an option when it comes to torpedo dodging. If I want to speed back up again. Four knots per second? Good lord. She fast. You can't properly call this a ship, right? Well, yeah. I guess you can, but... Some of these guns are not even pointing in the general direction of the targets. Probably because they're not in range. Because that's what, my 4-inch, I think? Look at that, there's... <laughs> there's so many stats on the screen. Yeah, 11 and a half. The 4-inch doesn't even bother. Wait, we've hit something? With a 13-inch gun? Really? Okay. Ooh. And that was a 16 that hit something. And a 14? Interesting. Wait. You got hit by a 16-inch gun? And you look like you don't even care? That is quite peculiar. 
Okay. Um, I'd love to tell you the accuracy of these guns, but it's very hard to see. I'm, I'm looking at, what, 12%? Some are looking at 1%. Let's see. If I target this guy... The interesting thing is... I'm seeing a bonus of 20% from 5th grade guns. But I know that my 20 incher is not a Mark V, it's a Mark III. So it's like that translates. Moreover, I'm not seeing any debuffs. Normally, if you get all sorts of different calibers combined into a ship, that used to be the case, you get a debuff. Because your rangefinder is trying to find the ranges to elevate the guns, ranging from, well, a 20 incher to a 4 incher. And they don't quite like that. It's very, very hard to do. But somehow, they're making it work. Also, look at how each gun is selecting its not only its own target by the looks of it, but also whether to fire AP or HE. I don't quite understand what's going on. Ooh, that was the 19 inch that hit something. I think we're trying to target this guy, and some shells are just straying. I am definitely getting torpedoed. All back emergency. <clears throat> Let's see if that's going to throw off their aim. I'm going to start prioritizing this target, though, because this is 10 kilometers out. And I don't quite like getting torpedoed from this range. We've done 15k damage? Oh yeah, you're getting skewed damage numbers because one 9-inch, or sorry, not one 19-inch certainly does 4,500 points of damage. That's why. Ship reversing. At. We can do 27 knots in reverse? Huh. Pretty impressive. I'm so far away from identifying this ship that I have no... Ooh, that hurt. But I have no idea what the status of the torpedo launchers is. I can see that they're pointing in my general direction. Whether that means that they're loading or have already launched 10 minutes ago. Oh. It's very hard to tell. Uh, commence your turn. Now, if you have also a crazy challenge like this Frankenstein, by all means, let me know down below in the comments. I'm always looking for interesting video ideas. So if you have an interesting challenge, please post it down below. I am kind of wondering what happens if I just charge Frankie right into this destroyer division. Are you kidding? We can't hit anything? Oh, there we go. These guys are all very clustered. But because they're at 16 and a half kilometers, I don't really consider them a risk. Ooh, we might actually get our first one here. There she goes! Extensive fire! What have we become? I thought this was a battleship. Like, you just blow away things with a 19 inch or a 20 inch and it just disappears. Wow, they have absolutely no clue how to handle a ship that's reversing. They have no idea where to point their torpedo launchers. And it looks like they're not really able to pen this armor at all. Like, I'm getting so many blocks. I've taken, what, 32 damage? It's almost negligible. The only thing that could seriously harm this ship is the amount of fires, potentially in tandem with crew loss. Aquila. Torpedo type, 19 inch normal? Torpedo prop standard. Okay. You're firing 5.6 inch guns. 
with semi armor piercing, no, sorry, semi auto loader. AP capped ballistic. Interesting. It won't give you enough pen. Look at that. That's a fresh launch. But because the Frankenstein is reversing, they have no clue where to point their torpedoes. The torpedo solution is very far off. Start targeting that. And let the two inches go and do something else, I guess. Seven and a half kilometer range. Pretty good. <clears throat> so, the trick to defeating torpedo spam is to sail in reverse. Is that the lesson here? Because that would be a bit sad. That would be really quite sad. You there. Yeah, this is probably their torpedo salvo. I think they're pointing it at where I would normally be if I would be moving forward. Look at the amount of hits I've taken. They might have hit 28%, but like, almost all of them got blocked or are ricocheting. Here, torpedo launch from probably the uh, Impavido launching at where I would be had I been moving forward. Another extensive fire. Dude, that's just dirty. <laughs> Everything is pointing at something else by the looks of it. These turrets are... <laughs> are almost hugging it out. <laughs> Look at them. That's a crossfire, but not <laughs> like anything I've ever seen. Oh, man. If it makes for amusing content, I'm all for it. Is it a viable campaign ship? Yes. <laughs> Which is all the weirder. The fact that you're just able to do this and get away with it. I mean, it's not a cheap ship, right? It's 9 billion. Uh, these DDs are probably not that expensive. 815 million. They got 20 of them. So yeah. They did actually pay more. But the fact that Frankie actually works is interesting. How many shells do I have? Uh, not many. Okay. I've lost seven and a half percent of the crew. I think the crew is the weakest part of this ship. This is just absolute nonsense. Generale Carlo Montanari, extensive fire. Giacomo Medici is not even the main target here. I think the Insidioso is. But, you know, too close. Gonna nail you. Gone. Okay, so, I'd say Frankie works against a fleet of DDs. How well does she do against something a little bigger? What if the Italians had brought a couple of battleships? What then? I might need to change the type of armor-piercing loadout that I have in order to keep the ship competitive, let's say standard, and maybe drop some anti-torpedo resistance there. And now I could have armored the ship up a bit more, but that's not that relevant. I just want to see if this weird contraption with all the different calibers is actually going to be feasible when it comes to dealing with battleships. New threats, and Frankie takes to it like a dog going after a bone. Uh, it's just a very weird dog. What's the bone? It's an Italian battleship, which seems to be doing a Nelson, with 12 18-inch guns per. Yikes, that's a lot of firepower. That's a lot of firepower. 
I wonder if I can survive that. What? Whoa, whoa. Holy shit, dude. What was that? That was the 20 inch that actually penned the main deck? Really? What's your chance to pen me? Because it's probably pretty scary. <laughs> it's a lot worse than expected. They're 18 inch guns. I mean, what do I expect? The problem with the Frankenstein is that you can't really go broadside because it's going to cause issues with your ability to bring guns on target. But this guy's already badly flooding. We're really getting a lot of damage in with all these guns. That's another aft deck pen. We've done eight and a half thousand points of damage near enough and they've done nothing? How? Frankenstein is an interesting ship, but it's not that good. Maybe you can make the case that, well, it has all the different calibers, it can do all the things. But I rather doubt it. I'm 13 clicks out. These guys don't really have a lot of excuses for missing this many salvos. Unless the AI threw together either a really bad crew, or no rangefinders, or both. But it just makes no sense. 20 kilometers out. Oh, sorry. 10 kilometers out. We can now pen 91 inches of armor with the biggest caliber. And let's say with the smallest, which is a 9 inch. We can pen 13 inches, so yeah, that should be sufficient to wipe this thing off the map. There's the 20 inch. Missed. Oh. That didn't. We're still picking HE and AP? No, it's all AP, except for the 7 inch. And some of the smaller ones. If these guys have torpedo launchers, though, I'm in for a wild ride. Oh, we're now also targeting the other guy. Because of course we are. I want to see the price tag on this thing. I mean, this is a far more reasonable design than what I threw together. And it's losing really badly. It's not even a contest at this point. Oh, there we go. Now I've taken some serious damage. Yeah, that was good. Right through the main deck. Wait. How did you pin my main deck at 5 kilometers out with an 18-incher? Main belt, main deck. What? Are these... They're not sawed-off barrels. It's not like some mortar ship that arcs their shells upwards and thus trying to pen the deck. This makes no sense. This makes no sense. At 5 kilometer range, they should be hitting the belt pretty much every shot they get. Ricochets. Price tag? 5 billion. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Not that bad. Really. You got some massive HE there, dude. And what, capitalistic super shells. Look at that pen. We're four kilometers out. Arguably, they can pen over 150 inches of armor. Capitalistic one. It can, it can get worse? Wow. Heavy shells, two powder, two. Winston's four. Generation three radar. Seasoned crew, so that's a 70... Sorry, between 50 and 70. 50, 75. Surprising. I do want to focus on this. See if I can take out these San Martino. Now I'm really getting hammered. Finally. Took him long enough. <coughs> I need that 20 inch to hammer home a really big volley here. Well, maybe not volley, but at least damage dealing. Frankenstein to about 50%. Can you imagine what this ship was going to be like if all the turrets started popping off? 
That would be something else. Like one massive flash fire accident waiting to happen. Oh, decent. This guy is turning around, so all the guns are unavailable. They might even be too badly flooded to angle their guns, or to point their guns at targets. Ooh, that hurt them. I'm down to 47%. 41%. And I'm starting to lose main guns. Believe it or not. Alternative idea. What if we fire HE only? At this. Can I burn it down? Is that feasible? They've lost 20% crew to 12. 26. Ooh. Seriously, I told them to start targeting this, but some guns are going, nah, I don't feel like it. And <laughs> they're just targeting something else. <laughs> this should not exist. In more ways than one. Oh, structural damage took me out. That was 8,000 points of damage. Frankenstein is dead. Long live Frankenstein. Uh, we did a decent amount of damage there. 20k dealt, 19k taken. A bit more armor. She might have survived. Hope you guys enjoyed the challenge. I thought this was a fun ship to build. Um, a tricky one, and I don't think it will fit on every single hull. But the sheer reason that not only did it fit, but also that it worked really made this amusing to play for me. I mean, this shouldn't exist. It's, uh, uh, you know, no. But I look forward to seeing your ideas and your thoughts down below on the abomination that this thing is. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon for more.